Dick helps Gail with shopping and errands and guards us while Frank is on tour. He is in his mid-twenties, losing his hair and heavier than the others, but his eyes are soft, grey-brown and gentle as a collie dog. I warm to him, and he has become a rock upon whom almost everyone in the house relies. Like me, Dick is down in the dumps about the cabin. The more he looks, the more carnage he finds. He stands with his thumbs in his belt and shakes his strong, handsome face. No words can express what a broken-down ruin we are living in. Why, I even have a bucket in the middle of my room collecting rusty drips that seep through the ceiling from Frank and Gail's bathroom and threaten to pull it down. One time, when the plumber had called at the log cabin to mend the leak in my bedroom ceiling, he'd asked to look at Frank and Gail's bathroom. I had bounced up the stairs and knocked. It was mid-morning, and Gail's faint voice had called out, "'Come in!' But when I'd opened the door, I saw Frank and Gail on the bed, naked. Gail, sitting with her back to me, turned and stared, her face aghast. "'Pauline!' I said, "'Don't come in!' 